When it was put on sale, it was the most expensive property in all of Washington, D.C., and now it's been bought by Ireland. The Department of Foreign Affairs has confirmed it's paid $12 million for the property, which was previously being rented as a home for the Irish ambassador. Well, our political correspondent, Gavin Riley, joins me now. Gavin, an expensive buy, but uh, officials would say it's worth it? Yeah, they would certainly say that they actually got a bit of a discount because at its original price when it went on sale early last year, the asking price was $18.5 million. And if that's what the department had paid, it would quite literally have been the most expensive property ever sold, uh, residential property in Washington, D.C. What they have bought it for is around $12 million. Now, this will not be a new setting for the Irish ambassador in Washington, Geraldine Burl nason She's been living there on a rental basis for around two years anyway. Uh, this property was acquired because the previous property uh, was found to have some significant issues. The previous property, people might remember, is the one where Michal Martin was isolating after he uh, tested positive for COVID uh, when he was visiting there in March 2021. Uh, the property that has been bought by the Irish government is, is fairly luxury. Two dining rooms, two sitting rooms, a swimming pool, a wine cellar, a cinema, and it does also have separate living quarters for the staff that might be attending to it. But part of the thinking behind acquiring a venue like this, some of which, as people can see, uh, it might be an opportunity for having public receptions is because part of the idea of having a, com- a property like this is that you can hold receptions. So for the likes of St. Patrick's Day or if there was an Irish event on the cusp of the Oscars, the 4th of July or anything like that, if you already have a ready-made venue that is opportune for something like that, then it does kind of save you money over time. And if they're going to be holding receptions like that pretty much every year, then it pays to already have the venue that you might hold them.